In this video, we are going to discuss about the circle of Willis. So, first of all, what is the circle of Willis? So, circle of Willis is actually an arterial circle which is found in the base of the brain. So, and this arterial circle is formed as a result of anastomosis between the internal carotid and the vertebral basilar system of artery. So, what is its shape? It will be polygonal in shape and it is located in the interpedicular system. So, first of all, uh, we are going to discuss or draw the formation of this uh, arterial circle known as the circle of Willis. So, let us start with the diagram first. So, we know that the base of the brain, uh, the two arteries, that is the vertebral arteries on both sides, these are the two vertebral arteries. And this will join together to form a basilar artery. So this is the two vertebral arteries which are joining together to form the basilar artery. So we are going to mark it now. So these two are the uh, two vertebral arteries. So this one is the vertebral artery. So the two vertebral arteries join together to form which artery? This one is the basilar artery. Now the basilar artery gives up so many branches. We will discuss about it uh, in the last part. And this basilar artery after giving so many branches so is it is ascending upwards in the bone. So this basilar artery is located in the bone. So you know that. And uh, at last, it, this basilar artery it is terminating by dividing into two branches, which are the two terminal branches of the basilar artery. These are the two posterior cerebral arteries. So once it has reached the region of the cerebrum, it has to supply the cerebrum. So as it is uh, giving out this branch at the posterior aspect of the cerebrum, these are known as the posterior cerebral artery. And this is supplying the posterior aspect of the cerebrum. So remember like that, okay. Yeah. So it is uh, giving out two branches that is the posterior, these two are the two posterior cerebral artery. Now we are going to discuss about the other system. So that is all about the vertebrobasilar system. So this much is the vertebrobasilar system that is the two vertebral arteries combined to form the basilar artery and the basilar artery giving so many branches at last it terminates into two terminal branches in, that is the two posterior cerebral arteries and we now learn about the internal carotid system. So here you are having the internal carotid artery on both sides you are having the internal carotid artery like this so on both sides the internal carotid artery gives out two terminal branches one is the middle cerebral artery okay this is the middle cerebral artery and the other one is the <coughs> anterior cerebral artery So this we have seen as the internal carotid artery which is dividing into the middle cerebral artery. So MC is middle cerebral artery and the, this one which is the present in the anterior aspect is the anterior cerebral artery. Okay. So on both sides you are having like this. That is like this. So this is the ICA, this is the ACA, anterior cerebral artery, and this is MCA. So ACA stands for there should not be any sorry confusion. That is the anterior cerebral artery. 
so posterior cerebral artery is a branch of terminal branch of the basilar artery okay and while the anterior cerebral artery is a branch of the internal carotid artery this much you have to be very sure so this is the internal carotid system okay this is the vertebro basilar system and there is a connection between the two systems okay uh, we know that this is the posterior cerebral artery and this is the internal carotid artery so there is a connection between the posterior cerebral artery and the internal carotid artery so this connection between the posterior cerebral artery and the internal carotid artery on both sides is known as the posterior communicating artery so this artery is the posterior communicating artery this is the posterior communicating artery okay this is the posterior communicating artery now the anterior cerebral arteries on both sides so you can see the anterior cerebral arteries on both sides these are interconnected by means of an anterior communicating artery so anterior communicating artery is connecting the two anterior cerebral arteries Whereas the posterior communicating artery is connecting the posterior cerebral artery with the internal carotid artery. So this is the anterior communicating artery. And you can see that uh, there are a few important branches of each of these arteries we have to discuss here. Now we can see that an arterial circle is formed here. So this is an arterial circle. So the anterior part is of the circle is formed by the anterior communicating artery. The anterolateral part is formed by the which is this artery. This is the anterior cerebral artery. The lateral part of the circle is formed by the internal carotid artery. Whereas the posterior lateral part is formed by the two posterior communicating artery. Whereas the posterior part is formed by the bifurcation of the basal artery into the two posterior cerebral artery. So that is about the boundaries of this arterial circle. So we will uh, write it that now. But before that uh, when you are asked to draw the circle of Willis, you are supposed to mention the branches, some important branches of these uh, uh, arteries also. So the basilar artery which are the important branch here it gives out the anterior inferior cerebellar artery and it gives superiorly it gives a superior cerebellar artery okay and it also gives uh, labyrinthine artery and so many pontine branches here. So which are the important branches of this basilar artery uh, I draw it with the branches another color label it this is the anterior inferior cerebellar artery okay so this is the uh, this artery is located near the cerebellum so for uh, the branch of to the cerebellum given out from the basilar artery is the anterior inferior cerebellar artery Another branch to the cerebellum is on the superior aspect. You have the superior cerebellar artery. And uh, you have the labyrinthine artery which is also a branch of basilar artery. Labyrinthine artery. And uh, we, I have discussed that the basilar artery is located on the bone. So it gives so many pontine branches. So these are the pontine branches. Now you can see the posterior cerebral artery. Now you should know that the posterior choroidal artery is emerging from the posterior cerebral artery. So this one you see here is the posterior choroidal artery. And from the internal carotid you have uh, two ophthalmic arteries. So ophthalmic arteries are branches of the internal carotid artery. So this one is the ophthalmic artery.
and you are having the anterior choroidal artery also which is emerging from here so this is the anterior choroidal artery and you have so many uh, perforating branches here also some small arteries here that is the this constitute the anterior median group of arteries and you have having on the lateral as well that is anterolateral group okay and on the posteriorly you have here posterior median group of arteries and here you are having posterior lateral group so that is also there this is the andromedian group this is the androlateral group this is the posterior median group and this is the posterior lateral group and if you want to add further completion you should know that the vertebral artery uh, it gives rise to the anterior spinal artery is formed here this is the anterior spinal artery and it also gives out uh, the posterior spinal artery from the vertebral artery and the vertebral artery also gives out the posterior inferior cerebellar artery so posterior inferior cerebellar artery so these are the branches of the vertebral artery which i have mentioned one is the so this one is the this one is the anterior spinal okay and this one is the posterior spinal And this is the posterior inferior cerebellar artery. So a complete diagram should contain all of this. And uh, the important part is this circle, which are the arteries forming this circle. That is the important part of this video. So for the completion, I have just mentioned the branches. Uh, so we are going uh, from this the important mcq questions are posterior inferior cerebellar arteries uh, branch of vertebral artery whereas anterior inferior cerebellar artery is a branch of basilar artery and superior cerebellar artery is further branch of basilar artery and you should know that uh, the which are the arteries forming this arterial circle or the circle of elis so we are going to mention the boundaries of the circle of elis which are the arteries forming the circle so which is the anterior uh, most uh, structure anterior artery here this is the anterior communicating artery which is actually a communication between the two anterior cerebral artery so anteriorly the circle is bounded by anterior communicating artery okay so that is the anterior so anterolaterally by which arteries you can see here anterolaterally it is bound by the anterior cerebral artery on both sides so by the anterior cerebral artery now which is the lateral boundary laterally it is bounded by the internal carotid artery on both sides so laterally by the ICA that is internal carotid artery so what is the posterior lateral boundary posterior lateral it is bounded by by the two posterior communicating artery by the posterior communicating artery And what is the posterior uh, posteriorly the circle is completed by the bifurcation of the basilar artery into right and left the posterior cerebral artery so posteriorly it is completed by bifurcation of 
basilar artery into right and left posterior cerebral artery. So anteriorly this some circle is completed by the anterior communicating artery. Uh, the anterior cerebral artery forms the anterolateral part on each side and the internal carotid artery forms the lateral part. Posterior lateral part is completed by the posterior communicating artery and the posterior part is completed by the bifurcation of basilar artery into the right and left posterior cerebral artery. So these are the boundaries. Sorry, these are the arteries which are forming the circle of Willisium. So from this, what can you say about the circle of Willis? It is an arterial circle here, which is formed at the region of base of the brain. And uh, what is this actually? It is an anastomosis between the internal carotid artery system and the vertebrobasilar system. And what is the shape of this uh, a circle of it is it is polygonal in shape and the region where it is located is the interpedangular system cistern so it is located in the interpedangular system okay so that is all about the circle of illness thank you for watching this video to see more videos on my channel please subscribe the channel thank you